Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am your host Dr. Virayan Karia and today we are discussing a modern health issue that is probably affecting you right now that is the tax neck. You know that pain in your neck after scrolling through social media for hours that is not just tiredness. It's a real condition called tax neck and it's wreaking havoc on our spines in this digital age. Tax neck also known as tech neck or smartphone slump is a repetitive stress injury to the neck and cervical spine caused by poor posture while using smartphones, tablets or other devices. It's like giving your neck an unwanted workout but the bad kind. In next few minutes, we will cover what it is, why it happens, the scary symptoms, some eye-opening stats and most importantly how to prevent and treat it. If you are glued to your phone like most of us, stick around, this could save your spine. Let's get started. First thing, what is tax neck? Imagine your head as a bowling ball weighing about 10 to 12 pounds. When you are standing straight with good posture, your neck and spine handle that weight effortlessly. But tilt your head forward just 60 degrees like when you are staring down at your phone and suddenly your neck is supporting up to 60 pounds of force. Remember from just 10 to 12 pounds to 60 pounds. That is like balancing 5 bowling balls on your neck. Over the time, this constant forward head posture flattens the natural curve of your cervical spine plus straining muscles, ligaments, joints and even intervertebral discs. Anatomically, your cervical spine, the top part of your backbone, say this. This is the spine and this is the cervical spine. So that is the top part of your spine or backbone has a gentle C-shaped curve. See this. And that is acting as a shock absorber. Tax neck causes hyperflexion of the lower neck like this and hyperextension in the upper neck while we are looking down for a longer period. This messes up this alignment. Okay, this curvature is messed up. It stretches the spinal cord and nerve roots and can lead to early degeneration like arthritis. And you know what? It's not just adults. Teens and kids are getting it too from all that screen time. Sounds crazy, right? Now let's see the causes of tax neck. The main culprit, our addiction to the devices. Whether it is texting, browsing or binge watching, we spend hours hunched over flexing our neck downwards. Studies show that prolonged neck flexion while writing messages or during virtual meetings is a huge trigger. Think about it, the average person checks their phone 150 times a day, I repeat, 150 times a day. And combine that with poor ergonomics like slouching on the couch or in the bed makes you more vulnerable for this issue. Even working from home has spiked these cases with bad test setups adding to the strain. Now what are the symptoms to watch for? It includes a stiff sore neck that is hard to move especially downward or side to side. You might feel dull aching or sharp pain in lower neck radiating to your shoulders and arms. Muscle weakness in your upper back, tension headaches from tight muscles in base of the skull and you may feel numbness or tingling if the nerves get pinched. In severe cases, it can mimic more serious issues like herniated discs. If you are experiencing this, better consult your doctor. Now let's discuss some shocking statistics. The neck pain is the fourth leading cause of disability worldwide with over 30 percentage of people experiencing it annually. One study was done among university students where tax neck prevalence was as high as 71.2 percentage with smartphone use directly linked. In another study of medical students, 68.1 percentage reported symptoms even among female students in one more study, the rates hit 71% in standing positions. It's a global epidemic and it's getting worse with more screen time. Here, the prevention is only solution. So what are the prevention tips? The prevention is simple and effective. Let's discuss one by one. Number one, raise your device to eye level. Use a stand or hold it higher to cut down on that forward tilt. Number two, take breaks every 20 to 30 minutes. Set a timer if you need to. Number three, stand tall with shoulders back and chin tucked. Think about military posture. Number four, arch your back and stretch periodically to relieve the tension. Number five, limit mindless scrolling by scheduling check-ins for messages instead of constant peaks. Number six, get moving. Do regular exercise, particularly like swimming or some team sports, strengthens your back and neck. Pro tip. Try the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look for 20 feet away for 20 seconds to rest your eyes and neck. What about treatment and exercises? 
Well, if you are already feeling the pain, don't worry. Treatment starts at home. For acute flare-ups, use over-the-counter pain relievers, apply ice or heat packs and do gentle massages. Chin tuck are gold. Sit straight, gently pull your chin back like making a double chin. Hold for 5 seconds and repeat this for 10 times. Neck rotations and side bends help to slowly turn your head side to side then tilt ear to the shoulder. For muscle imbalances, stretch tight areas like your chest or suboccipital muscles at the skull base and strengthen weak ones like deep neck flexors and upper back retractors. Try yoga or pilates for posture. They are fantastic for realigning your spine. If pain persists, see a physical therapist for a custom program. They might use mobilization techniques to improve the posture. Remember, consistency is the key. Do this daily for best results. So there you have it. Tech snake is a side effect of our tech field lives, but with awareness and few tweaks, you can protect your spine. Start today, straighten up, take breaks and move more. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend who is always on their phone and subscribe for more tips on staying healthy in digital world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in next video. Bye bye.